So hello, my name is John Sveck. Welcome to this All 24 video. Uh, coach Waterman and I have a very special guest today, uh, Coach Blake Nill, head coach of the UBC Thunderbirds. So thanks for being with us, Coach. Hey, John. Uh, so Coach Waterman, if you do the honors, we'll pick a random play here and just break down what we see. Coach will tell me when to stop. Stop. All right, we have a random play. We'll make it as big as we can here. So, Coach Nill, it looks like we have a first and 10 situation. Uh, Montreal is on offense. Uh, what they're coming out in, it looks like a, a 32 formation developing, and I'm seeing a tight end on the boundary side there. So when you look at that initial formation, uh, what are some of your thoughts, Coach? Well, what, what, what they're looking at right now is how Calgary, how Calgary has adjusted their secondary. You see what, like Calgary, they're, they're playing with a tight end. And Calgary still has only six guys in the box there. So they might be looking at this and, and depending on, on what, the, what the Montreal offense is looking for. But what, what Calgary's actually done a good job because they're showing they're, they remained in a 30. They've only got three, three um, uh, backers in the box. But, but they, got a, they got another one hanging out there that's uncovered. Uh, they've taken away the potential to be outmanned on that side, uh, on the boundary side. And um, I, I don't know if this is what, what Montreal was hoping they'd get, but, but Calgary doesn't seem to be too intimidated by the fact that they've look, put an extra guy into the line of scrimmage. Perfect. Yeah, and I just, I just had the same thing, you know, with that tight end of the boundary side, it looks like, I don't know, they've expanded the will a little bit and that, that the halfback is down. So that's maybe a lighter, lighter uh, personnel there dealing with that tight end. So we'll, I guess we'll see what happens here. Yeah, I'll let it run a little bit and, and you guys can share your thoughts. Looks like they're adding in that number three in some way, shape or form. And he's, he's coming across the formation. All right, a lot happening there, coaches. What, what are we thinking here? Well, it's well, RPO good. for sure, right? Yep. And, and you saw what, um, you saw the Calgary Sam backer comes into the box, you know, and they, they, they knew that the, with, the, with the Calgary Sam backer jumping the box, the number two receiver from Montreal is wide open, you know, has a lot of room to move, and, and they, take the, they take the play there. Yeah, and I would agree. I mean, with that sort of number three coming across and slipping out the backside to the boundary, they got a Sam track. And so once that Sam track avoided – you avoided the grass and so you can see where they just run a little slant to replace that area uh, and it's a nice easy pitch and catch it looks like here well uh, we'll go to the tight film here and see what we can see guys you can see and you can also see what calgary's done with this whether it's intentionally or not is they got their big nose tackle playing on the tight end side so I, i'm not sure if this was just coincidence that this happened or if this was a, a personnel uh, movement right but yeah. they certainly got a guy in there that's gonna and you can see he requires two blocks and it leaves the will backer and the half back free you know so basically uh, a, a good job by coach Barry with his with his uh his scheme in this play and um you know, for sure, there's no run run option there, and and Montreal does a, a good job, you know, looking at what's available and taking the easy easy in route there. Yeah, and I'd agree. The snap's a little bit off, but it looks like it's that ugly backfield motion where he's going to come and work, stay on the play side there, and maybe like like a Blake you mentioned that RPO possibility right there. But the snap kind of throws the timing off. Uh, but at the same time, he sees a Sam Chase and the void is – the grass is there, so he's got a quick throw on the slant by the number two receiver. Phenomenal. We'll just watch him the play there and the sure tackle. That's great, guys. Any final thoughts on that one clip? You know, again, um, it's, it's a good job by both, by both programs. You know, schematically, I, I don't think there's a lot of run – opportunity for for Montreal on the boundary side the way Calgary's aligned so they go back and then they take what's given to them right and they do a good job gaining a first down it looks like it would be close to first down anyways that's great well thank you so much for being here with us coach Nell I uh, really appreciate it thank you John